Uh, good morning everyone, back at Lavender Hill Magistrates Court for what ended up being a wasted trip. That's okay. So um, this driver, well, you'll see the video. Um, I spoke to him very briefly in court after it all got dealt with and he seemed to think he had no case to answer based on the video I showed. Um, but in the end the case was dismissed and it's because the CPS prosecutor did not get any of the paperwork for the case. So despite the defendant having been served the video and um, me turning up, the case was chucked out. I don't know if that's fair or not. I'm not too bothered. I'm, I mean, I'm happy for the chap um, to be off his consequences. I just hope that he learns from from this experience and that he no longer touches his phone behind, behind the wheel. Um, yeah, and despite his thoughts that he hadn't done anything wrong, I'm afraid to say that in my non-expert civilian opinion, <laughs> you know, holding a lit up phone with BBC Today Radio 4 on is an absolute uh, contravention of, of the mobile phone law. But that's my opinion. I'm not a lawyer. Interesting enough, I just um, came past here and there was some police who'd pulled over a lady on a motor scooter and they've obviously taken the vehicle off her for I presume for no insurance that's usually why it's done and uh, she's had to walk off home or wherever she's going nothing connected to this case of course all right well I'll see you next time ciao Is he looking down on his phone? Leave alone. Morning. Morning. Hello, hello. BBC Today watching videos with the Kia Nero. Thank you. 